today I have a nice treat for you. I am taking you along to a thrift ride haul. We're going to hit up Savers and Salvation Army store. Now, these are the two stores that are close to where I live. Um, and there's us it's usually the region around that area has a lot of good stuff that I could usually get and make a profit. Now, when I go out thrifting, I don't really have anything particular in mind. I try to keep up an open mind because I don't want to get like, you know, all excited and I go into the store and I don't find anything. And anything I buy, if I can't sell it for more than $10 um, or higher than 10 I do not buy it. Because most of the times, you know, there are some people who live in different state. They might get good things because maybe the area that they live in, you know, it, it's probably upper class or middle class too. So it depends on the area of, you know, where your thrift stores are because those are people who are going to be donated. So where I live, it's sort of like blue collar. So it's in between. So sometimes I'll find high price items. Sometimes I'll find low price items. And my median price is usually $10. If I can't make more than 10 I do not buy it. Um, if it's something less than 10 there's really no uh, benefit of me buying it because I have to put the fact that I drove there I'm taking pictures and it's taking me time to list these items so if I'm listing items on eBay it's taking me away from something else that I could be doing so I try to put that all into my mind and uh, one other thing you're gonna need when you go thrifty shopping is you're going to need your cell phone because you could easily and I talk about this in several videos. You could easily download the eBay app and it will tell you what the items are selling for. So here's mine. It's already all set. It's my eBay app. It's going to show up. You guys can see it. So I just basically will just put it in the search bar, what I'm looking for, and I put, you know, um, listed for stolen. So what it sold for. So that is that is how where's what I do on a Saturday morning. Now I don't usually go thrifty shopping every Saturday morning. I sometimes I go like, you know, once in a while because I do have a lot of stuff at home that I could be selling. But I like to look around too um, and get other stuff. So I always look for scrubs. Scrubs is one of my number one things I sell all the time on eBay and the scrubs I look for are scrubs that are unique they're you know they might have like some type of cartoon on them the colors plus size scrubs if you come across them 1x 2x 3x 4 5x buy them because you will sell those automatically no matter what brand it is because it's a bigger size so we are going to go guys um i mean you know, i listen to a lot of music you know but i can't play it because you know it's going to be copyrighted so you guys will get the music that's on youtube so hopefully you know when i edit this video it, it's it's something that it's not too boring all right so sit tight um once i get to the thrift store now i can't really film in the thrift store I mean, if I wanted to, I probably could because I've been going there for years and I would have to ask the manager, but it's not just her, it's the customers too, and you know, I've it's just, it's kind of awkward for me to film in there. So what I need to do is, is find a smaller camera that I could put on my phone and maybe I could just film my, what's in my cart as I'm shopping. I think that would be a fun experience for you guys. All right, so okay here we go guys so now i am going to turn you over because we are going to the thrift store always got to put on your seat belts <laughs> i'm also going to stop for a cup of coffee i like to get a little treat on saturday before i go to my thrift store got to make sure that i am full and ready to find these good treasures <laughs> So on my way to the thrift store, I stopped at a moving sale and this person was moving pretty much there was not that much stuff left, but I was able to scrape a few things along and at the end of the video I will show you guys what about the what I have purchased throughout the day. Um, so I'll just briefly show you what I got at the yard sale. Now I got about one, two, three, four, five pieces of jewelry. If you guys could see. I know the sun's in your eye. Um, I got five pieces of jewelry for about 
five for about four dollars okay the first thing i got and most of them were brooches now i've bought this in the past at um goodwill outlet born to shop if you guys could see it make sure you guys see it born to shop is a really popular pen for shop alcoholics like myself um so and i've bought about in the last five years, I think I bought about two of them, and then I was able to sell them anywhere from ten to fourteen dollars. So for a dollar that I sold, it, for a dollar I bought this for, I could easily sell this for about uh, twelve to fourteen dollars, including the shipping. Um, I'm not going to put free shipping on this because I'm going to have to bubble wrap it and make sure it, you know, it gets there in one piece because it's, it's kind of fragile. The next thing I bought. We have 65 days before Christmas, so I picked up another um, nice brooch pen. This one's a Christmas tree, and I'll probably put this one for about $10. Someone could definitely put this on a shirt or on a scarf that they have. Um, I know around the holiday season, people would love to wear brooches under coat. It's just a happy, a happy, happy season. Uh, the next thing I bought, now... Anything, if you come across anything cat, it's just always a funny joke for people who are uh, crazy cat ladies. And you have men who are crazy cat people, too. So I bought these cute little uh, cat earrings. I don't know if you guys can see them. So I'll just try to zoom up close. This is what I bought. So I bought these two were also a dollar. And it looks like they were handmade. Uh, there's black and apart. So I could just definitely put handmade uh, cat earrings and because it's handmade I could definitely ask for um, they look like they're a little dirty so I'll just have to clean it a little bit I'll ask about ten dollars for them because they were handmade um, and the last thing I picked up I picked up these two clip earrings they're um, little rhinestones um, you know, they're really cute. They're really nice gemstones. I love green. Again, green is a nice color for fall. It's also a nice color for Christmas. So I definitely picked these two up in their clip. Um, not a lot of people wear clip earrings, but um, this is something that I could definitely put on eBay or I could definitely put this on Poshmark. Um, and I could see this going on Poshmark. Now, I will put this for about $10. Um, yeah, so pretty much everything I bought here is going to go for ten, and I spent four dollars. I'm hoping to get forty bucks. Now, will I sell these quick? I don't know. Sometimes they take time, and other times you might not even sell them. So that is what. So these are the four items I picked up. So I went to the, um, you know, a quick little tip for you guys if you're doing yard sales and you really don't know what to get. Look at everything. Areas I like to look for at yard sales are books. Um, clothing, shoes, definitely jewelry is a popular area too uh, to look for at yard sale because these type of brooches at the um, Salvation Army store, and you know I love Salvation Army store savers, but they would ask $3.99 for them. Um, so getting them for a dollar is really good. So now we're off to our next adventure. The next time, okay guys, so we are at the Salvation Army store. So I am just going to enjoy this delicious caramel crunch iced coffee before I go down and make a few phone, personal phone calls and then we will go down and see what treasures await for me. So let me just give you guys a quick little tour so you can see what it looks like. Right this door. So that's what it looks like. Um, I'm excited guys. So I will check in with you guys a little bit after I'm done doing my thrifty haul shopping. Hi guys, how are you? I'm finally back after almost six hours of thrifty shopping. This was one of the biggest hauls that I have done. Um, I've also went to the Dollar Tree, which I will be doing a separate video for that. I found a lot of good items that could be worth some money on on eBay or McCarty or even Facebook Market. Um, but yes, I went to the Salvation Army store and I also went to a small mom and pop kind of boutique thrift store. And I will show you guys every single item that I came across. Um, I'm going to say I'm going to try to make this video as quick and painless as possible. I know sometimes it's boring to just watch so just keep showing things. But I think it's also good for you if you want to get into this type of business to actually see what sellers buy and why we buy these items and, you know, 
why we think they're why we think they're we're gonna sell them so it's also good to watch those videos because if you come across with these items of the store you remember hey i saw that video that you know woman or man or or even a young person had mentioned this item before and everything i'm showing here is stuff that i have seen other um, ebay sellers or youtubers will show on their channel so yes it was long and I did not go to Savers uh, because the Savers that I usually go to, they were having a huge flea market, uh, the whole town, so all those roads were blocked off. I could have went to the flea market, but to be honest with you, I don't think flea markets are somewhere a seller is going to make some money. Now, some people might disagree with me on that. The reason why I say that, because most of the people who are selling stuff at the flea markets are eBay sellers themselves. So I think a place for a seller to make their most money is going to be thrift stores, yard sales. Those are the places like an annual town yard sale. I would strongly advise you to go to those because at those events, you're going to get stuff for two, three, four dollars. You might even get a lot of things for like 10 or 20, 30 bucks, depending on what the item is. Flea market is kind of almost like a little bit of like retail, but not really. Uh, I've been to many flea markets. I've been to Christmas fairs and they're more sort of like, I would say like, you know, if you want to go shopping for yourself, it's more so of things that you would buy because you like them. Not necessarily to buy to resell. So with that being said, guys, I am going to start off. I have a lot of items here, as you guys could see. I'm going to give you guys a good view here. Um, I'm going to try to zoom in so you guys can get a little better view. So this is everything I'm going to show you on my table here. And now I am going to zoom out and make sure you guys are in focus. Okay, perfect. <laughs> um, why don't I start off with the mom and pop thrift store? So I went to this mom and pop thrift store, and I mentioned this in my video before. Um, they list their items for like six months, and it's almost like an eBay, but it's like an eBay in a store, and they do it by bids. So if the item's in the store and, you know, nobody buys it and nobody bids on it, they will just put it for like on the floor, and they'll mark them down for like a couple of dollars. And they have different, like different tags will be different sale prices. So I got two items here, and the first one I picked up, I don't know what brand this is, I just thought it was really cute. Um, it's a bunch of little donuts and it's a keychain. So this could go on a bag pack or on a purse. I bought this in mine to sell it on, I don't know if you guys could get a good look here. I bought this in mine to sell it on Poshmark. There's also, it also kind of, it looks like um, the donuts are shiny. So it's really nice. There's also a zipper in here. So you could put some coins. Um, and it also opens. See. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I had to make sure it works right before I put it on Poshmark. Um, yep, so here's what it looks like inside. So it's very roomy. So I bought this for a dollar. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to list this on Poshmark, but I think a fair price for this uh, would be probably $10. I think that's a fair price. So, you know, I make like a $9 profit on it. Next thing I pick up... Um, we all know that when the holidays are coming up, with Thanksgiving and Christmas. So I found this set. It's cookies and biscuit cutter, and it's Texas. Now, when I looked on eBay, not this, I don't know what brand this is, but I did notice a lot of the Texas-shaped cookie cutters were going for like $10. So I picked up a set, um, and like you guys can see. I spent $4.25 here. So I picked up a set. They have peppers, um, the horn, the star. I'll put this back later. And the most popular one is the boots. So that one was $3. Uh, I don't know. Now I know something like this will do very good. So I'm fighting with this. <laughs> I know something like this will do very good on eBay. So I'm, pop I'm thinking maybe a price for the cookie cutter Texas um, biscuit sheet. I think a fair price would be $15 and I would put plus shipping because one of them 
the tax aside was going for ten dollars plus shipping so i have multiple items here so i'm going to sell a set for fifteen dollars so that was that item okay so now we're going to jump into now i mentioned i already showed you guys what i got at the yard sale so i'm going to start off with the pens now this Salvation Army store I went to today, they had pink and yellow tags, which were 50% off, and they could get one item in the store for 50%, and it could have been any item that you wanted. So, when I first walked into the store, my eyes immediately came across um, these Friendship Navy seal pens, and this is perfect, guys. I mean, maybe these people had them because it was Veterans Day. I mean, they had a lot of them. Um... I mean, oh, not even, is it Veterans Day right? No, Columbus Day, I think, already happened. So Veterans Day is going to be coming up soon. Um, there were a lot of these guys, and I don't know if someone had donated them, didn't want them, but one of these pens here, just one, sells for $8 and plus shipping on eBay. So I bought about eight of them. So I'm hoping to be able to sell all of them. Now, I'm getting my months uh, mixed up. I don't know. I think that no veterans day is coming up in november i got it right so this would be very good for someone who is a veteran you know maybe they have a parade or uh um, maybe i'm going to try to get these up very quick because i don't have to i think i have two weeks left before uh um, that ties up but even though i think whether or not it's veterans day i think someone will still buy it and plus they're eight dollars so for me since i have a lot and i know i'm gonna make my money i want to get you know i want to sell them really quick i'm gonna list them all five dollars and put three dollars shipping so that way it i could just at least cover the cost um yeah one thing i found and i'm debating if i want to sell this or not um i love to fly and anytime i find anything with an airplane or a pilot lego i keep it for myself so i found a vintage um gold pilot pin wing so and it's delta also again the pins in this was 99 cents so this right here i believe it the one sold for seven dollars and plus shipping I mean, that's still good for a pen, but I don't know. I think I might keep this for myself more for a sentimental value. I'm obsessed with anything with flying. I love planes. I love the way they work. And I have such high respect for pilots. Um, I feel like they do a, their job is not easy to be responsible for that many passengers on an airplane and to be able to deliver them to a destination. I think they deserve a huge round of applause all the time. Anytime I fly, I always take my time to look the pilot in the eye and say thank you. Um, so I think I might keep this for myself because I love anything about flying. Flying and Hulk. Those are the two things that I kind of, you know, I'm obsessed with collecting. So I still have more to show you guys. Um, let's see. Let me jump in here. So I mentioned before I found a whole bunch of monster dolls and... This was towards when I was leaving the store. I just did one loop, and I'll put a picture on the side. Guys, there was a huge box of them. I think there were maybe 300 in there. I mean, I it took me like 30 minutes to go to the whole box. There were so many dolls. I couldn't get out to all of them. Um, I only pick out the ones that were complete. Most of the other ones, you know, they were missing an arm, missing a head, missing two legs. Um, some of them had the outfits, you know, their hair was really cut off. So I got a few, and the ones I got, they're not really, like, in the best condition, but they're sellable. Uh, I could easily probably make $20 on each of these dolls um, because of the condition that they're in. So um, I picked out a few. Now, this, this is what I picked up, and I will put the name at the screen because I'm not really... You know, all I know is if you come across Monster High dolls at thrift stores or yard sale, pick them up. So these dolls, I have about 13. Um, and I'll show you the ones that I have. They were, oh, they were three for $4.99. And then if you didn't get the three pair, you got one, you paid $1.99. So what I'm going to do, now, I did a little research before, um, you know, I thought about doing this video and I like to look at my idols to see what they're going for that way give you guys a nice estimate ball price um it really depends guys I mean I could put them all in a lot and start the bid at $50 or I could start the bid 
individually. Now, I have bought Monster Doll Highs in the past, and I still have, like, five. I'm like, I like collecting these dolls because I know they're worth money. Um, so I think, I think for me, in this case, I'm going to sell them individually. <clears throat> and... And one way, I'll give you guys a little hint how I always sell my Monster High dolls. I start the bid at $10. And I always put shipping. For shipping, I put $8 for shipping. <clears throat> the reason why I put $8 for shipping because I have to wrap it. And I ha have, sometimes I could put them in a box or not. So, that's how I usually start off with. People are, like, see this one. Look at her hands damage. So, that's going to affect the price. People are more willing, I think, to start the bid if it's $10. They're more willing to put a price um, because they mostly feel like they're going to get that doll. If you put a full price of $25 or $24, um, I don't think I would get that price for $24. I think if I was to get $24, it would have to be like in a box completely sealed um, because they're used. So, and, you know, the reason why I started at $10 because I have to put, in fact, her hair is kind of cut off, unless if that's the style of the hair, I don't know. Um, but she does have her clothes. Her clothes are complete. Um, she looks in really good, pristine condition. It's just her hair is a little jacked up. So, so uh, that's going to affect my price. Again, in this one, it looks like her hair is fine. Everything's fine. But her half her fingers are missing. So, you know that again is going to affect the price so i feel like start at ten dollars in case i'm missing jewelry like over here it looks like i'm missing some earrings all that would you know be able to get me a good price um and i'll show you the rest guys i'm just going to go over them quick this is one <coughs> this is another one i picked up this one I mentioned this in the other, in earlier. And, oh, the clip we're on. Let's see. This one, this one, this one. Oh, and the other thing I want to mention, guys, as you could see, all their hair is pretty matted and it's kind of messed up. I, I don't sell my dolls like this. Um, I did a little bit of an investment. I went to the dollar store. I bought some brush, I bought some tangling, detangling hairspray, so I'm going to spray it and let it sit overnight, and then the next day I'll brush out their hair and blow dry it, and then I will sell it. So I try to, leave, you know, put it in good condition. It's not going to come out the way it originally did, but at least that way my buyers know that their hair is combed and it's, you know, I try to present it um, just so at least I can make my offer um, more reasonable. Okay. So, we went over to the, we, went, we talked about the pens. I'm going to push that aside. Next thing I'm going to show you guys, I picked up um, Snoop, the, uh, what is it, Snoopy? Snoopy, um, Peanut Tie, It's Your, It's Your Move. The reason why I picked this one up, because it was unique, it's a chess. So, I've never seen one like this before. Um, and I did look on eBay. I couldn't find it on eBay. I'm not sure if I was looking on the right title because I was in the store and I was rushing. I just put Snoopy um, Chess. So, maybe I should put Peanuts. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I bought this for $2.99. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to sell it for. I will have to see how much you know, it actually sold. If nobody has it, I will put it for $20. Um, and I'll also try to ship it. So, that was... So that was that one. Um, and I'm just going to go over it really quick with this because, you know, this video is really, I don't want to make this video too long for you guys. So this was actually, so I had spent today altogether $120, $120, but with these two items, I made my money. So <clears throat> I picked up brand new um, Leslie Miles Comeback. It was $1.99. This right here is going for $138 on Amazon. That is a bolo I just gave you guys. So if you come across this at your thrift stores, Salvation Army stores, yard sale, pick it up. It is, it's worth money. I listed mine at $127 because I want a quick sale. Next thing I picked up. Now, <clears throat> just to give you guys how I found this. This was not even in, like, the media section. It was actually in a, the, 
children's toy section and it was in a top shelf way in the back so I don't know I just saw a sealed item and I just reached and I grabbed it and I scanned it and I saw what it was going for another one I picked up also in the kids aisle was the settlers of Katen I don't even know what this is I have no idea I never even heard of it brand new sealed it was being sold for $4.92. This right here on Amazon, oh, this is clear, guys, is going for $84. And here is the title, if you come across this. $84, I listed mine at $65. And it, just to show you guys, weird titles, um, awkward games that you never even heard of, are worth scanning. So if you come across titles or anything with workout that's sealed, Please scan them because those are worth money. The biggest one I found today, <clears throat> and this, I, I I can't believe I found this. I just, I don't know, like, I, I, you know, I'm very religious, so I thank God for this because, you know, after what my husband and I went through, we went to a, a financial deficit, and when I'm ready, I will come out with the video. Um, it's still fresh and wooed, so I'm not ready about this, but just the stuff that I found today, I, I just feel that it's things will get better for us. So, I picked out this huge Lego set, guys. This this, this was an item I could use for half off. It was $5.92 because it was a yellow tag. Um, she gave it to me for half of that, so what is it, like $3 or something. I went to the dollar store. I picked up some Ziploc. Look at this. Amazing. I went to the dollar store. I picked up a huge, huge um, Ziploc bags. And I think I'm going to divide this in two, and I'm going to do them by the pound. So what I'm going to do is I'll... I'll put them in the Ziploc bag and I'll weigh them and see how much it's going to cost. And then I'll start my bid at $15 plus shipping. This, I, I mean, the thing is, I keep looking at them too to make sure that it's all Lego. I just, I can't, I don't believe that all these pieces are Legos. I just don't believe it, but they are. Um, and <laughs> it's just sometimes it's like, you know, I found this, like, on a shelf, okay, so you guys could see it. Make sure it says the Lego part. Um, looks like I still have a <laughs> ship thing. I found all these Lego pieces on a shelf. Um, it wasn't even in the right aisle. It was just hanging there, and I just picked it up. I put it in my cart, and I flew because I got that thing so quick. I was afraid someone's going to come along and take it, so I had to get it. Uh, but yeah, it just shows you guys, um, Legos are very expensive, um, whether they're used or brand new, they're really, really pricey, so when you come across, especially those type of Legos, those are like different pieces, people are looking for those, these type of Legos, um, because people build and rebuild things, so, you know, make sure you pick them up if you see them, because they are worth money. Um, it is tedious work when you get Lego. The best thing I would suggest when you, when you get a lot like I did is just sell them by the lot. I mean, if you want to go out and, you know, pick out red, put red with red and blue with blue and green with green, you could do that. But I'm telling you, if you just put random Lego set lot, people are more willing to buy that because, you know, people like a good deal. So that's how I'm going to put it. Next one I, put, I picked up, uh, I thought it was a good brand, a uh, good buy, but not really. Now that I looked at it, it's actually not even, oh, I have more of my, more of my pens. It's actually not really a good find, so I'm actually going to donate this back. Um, probably throw it out because I don't want someone else to get this, but I did pay um, $3.99 for it. It doesn't have the wheel. Um, it's just a Barbie cheap 4x4. Four four. So, um, yeah. I'm a little disappointed that I was really excited. I just saw it. I grab it. I've always had a set with Barbie. But, you know what? I don't know. I think I might just sell it as is. And I will explain this to my buyer. Uh, Mrs. Steering Wheel. So, I don't know how they're going to drive the car without a steering wheel. But, you know what? I will buy it because I know there is someone out there who probably collects Barbie Barbie toys and maybe collects Jeep Barbie cars. Maybe they just like Jeep and they probably don't care if it doesn't have a steering wheel. So I will definitely put this on McCarty. 
Um, and I'm going to put it for, like, almost like free, practically. I mean, I'm trying to get rid of it, so I'll probably list it for, like, $20 and put free shipping. Because uh, this is going to cost me money to ship it. Either that, or I might end up keeping it for myself. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. Um, but I think I'm just going to... Probably going to get rid of it. Yeah. Alright, so, let's see. We went over that stuff. Okay, so now we're going to go over some of the clothing items I pick up. Really quick. Um, <clears throat> let's see. We'll start off with this pile. I picked these up. These are some bright... You guys can see they're jumping off the color. These are some bright, stretchy leggings. Um, they're good for working out. And the brand is Makari Tech. So this was $6.99. And it was half of $6.99. Next thing I pick up are some nurse scrubs. Um, Gray's Anatomy. This one is a nice pink one. The reason why I picked it up is a hot pink. <clears throat> leopard print on the top. And it doesn't, it's not like a tight fit. So it splits at the bottom. This was $4.99. I paid half of that. Um, this is the first time I bought pant scrubs. I usually just get top scrubs, but I couldn't really find any top scrubs. But I came across these ones, and these are really good brands. Um, again, this is the other Grey, uh, Grey's Anatomy by Barco. This one's more like a um, orange, what do you call it? What's that color? An orange, like a salmon red color. So in the screen, it's going to look orange, but it's actually like a salmon red. And this was $6.99. Um, but I paid half of that. I picked this up because you could tie it in the front, in the back. It's stretchable. It has nice pockets. It has two pockets in the back. So I don't know if you guys noticed this, but I will be doing a video soon about this. eBay has changed their policy with listen items. Um, now you really have to be very specific on how you list your items so that's so it used to take me like two minutes to list items now it takes me over half an hour for five items so that's the thing of consideration so what i have done because of that and you know i want to better manage my time i found a way i basically will when I get these cloned, I will create a template on eBay before I even wash them or take a picture so that way when I take the picture I don't have to go back and search the item as I took the picture. I already have the template set. All I have to do is take pictures and then I save my pictures and I just upload them to my template and then I'm done. Um, but you have to fill out every single question that they're asking. If you don't know the question, um, I will do a video. Um, just, and just put no. They asked the fabric, uh, manufacturer, um, what country it was, the size, you know, the, um, the, the field, um, the style, the occasion. He asked all these questions. And at first I was really upset, but then I'm like, you know what? It's actually good because it'll show you like some questions. There are over a million people searching for just that question. A okay, you know, medical, or it might be what country is for us. So people search different things and different weird topics. So that could actually Maybe right now, if you're someone who's struggling, that could actually bring up your sales because you put it in the right um, titles and stuff like that. Not just in the description, um, but you put the titles in what the material is made out of. So that's a whole separate video, but I just want to kind of squeeze that in there. All right, <clears throat> next thing I pick up, this is at Bread and Butter. Um, I picked up the Gap. It's a nice sweater. The reason why I picked up, I feel like this will do really good on Parshmark. It's lace. It's gray. <clears throat> Certain things will do better on Poshmark than eBay. I've learned that um, with the last couple of months that I've been doing Poshmark. Next thing I pick up, again, this is LuLuRoe. I pick up the leggings. The leggings I always pick up from LuLuRoe are leggings that I normally do not come across. So um, I pick up different, different patterns. Those are usually the ones that sell really good. Another one I picked up, this is not Lululemon. Again, th these are leggings for working out. This is Ask Beer, <clears throat> size medium. I like the color. It's like a silverish, gray, blue color. Um, it's really nice. I picked that up. <clears throat> I did pick up a lot of workout gear. Um, anytime we get towards the end of the year, 
going into like, you know, Thanksgiving and Christmas and you get the New Year's, people want to work out, they want to look for cheaper clothes or cheaper workout clothes. So even though you don't sell them, buy them um, and just keep listening. Somebody will buy it eventually. Next one I picked up was Star Awards. Anytime I come across, not every Star Award is worth buying, but I picked this one up. Um, it's a nice shirt. Star Wars has like nice vibrant colors. Uh, also, it does say Star Wars in here. So I picked that up and it was $4.99. Oh, I'm sorry I didn't make you guys the pants. So all the pants were like $5.99 that were half off, the ones I just showed you guys. So yes, yeah, Salvation Army prices are getting higher and higher, depending on where you live. Um, I live in what you would consider like a Blue Cross color type of neighborhood. Um, there's also people there too that are very wealthy too. So sometimes I'll see like um, Gucci or Valentino or Versace, but those things are usually behind the case and they're asking almost like half full price to them. I don't even bother at that point because I'm like, you know, these people are doing these clothes for a good cause to the community, but they're not also at the same time, I feel like the thrift stores, because of us as sellers, they have brought up the price a little bit higher because they know half the people who are in there are buying stuff to resell. So it's like people want to make money, stuff like that, I know. But what gets you a little upset sometimes is when I go to a thrift store, I see shirts or outfits I just mentioned are going for like $100 or $75. I'm like, you know, I'm very blessed that I'm not in a position that... um I have to solely rely on the thrift store. I do have a full-time job and my husband works. So, you know, I do like, to, I buy stuff at thrift stores. I'm not saying, you know, look down on it, but I'm just saying I feel bad for the person that actually doesn't have a job and maybe only has $10 and they need clean clothes and they can't afford it because some of the stuff are like 30, 20 bucks. I'm like, why would I pay 40 bucks for shirts that, are, you know, at the retail store are not even going that price. And that's the same thing too. That's why I try to give my sellers, my buyers a really good deal. I always charge half of what the shirt would normally go for. Um, the only time I charge, I kind of like retails of the items brand new. But yeah, but you know, but even at that store, again, I, like I say this, the manager that works there, she's very nice. So if I ever wore the item, it was too high. If I talk to her, Sometimes she'll just say, take it for half off, or she'll say, take it for, you know, whatever price that I want, give her a number, and she should just take it. So, but I never complain, because everything I get is usually on sale, um, and I did mention this before at the minute video, make sure you guys sign up for the loyalty card. The loyalty card is what you guys need, um, because you'll be able to get, like, 20% once you hit all those marks. But yeah, so let me continue on. <laughs> Now I picked, I think, I don't know if these are like leggings or Speedos, I don't know what these are, but they're Reebok and the Spandex, they're vintage Spandex Reebok, and they have hearts, okay. Um, Spandex Reebok, so I picked this up, it was $6.99 with half of that. I figured with Halloween coming up, guys, someone could definitely buy this, or... They might just like the style. So I'll put this on Poshmark and I'll put it on eBay. I don't know how much I'm going to put it for. But, you know, we'll we'll figure out what it's going for. Um, next item I picked up, Betsy Johnson. This is a nice skirt. So I picked this up. Nice jean skirt, size 8. Fleur in the bottom. Also have some nice floral print. This, again, I'm going to put this on Poshmark. It's very stylish. Um, other item I picked up, I don't know if I'm going to keep this for myself, this is Lane Bryant, nice, um, denim blouse, also has a nice lace trimming, it's a size 1820, which is a common size for, um, most plus size women, so it's nice for the fall, so I picked it up, it was $6.99, it was half of that, and, phew, I'm like tired, <laughs> The last item I picked up was tablets. I don't usually buy this brand, but I love this print. Um, it's a size 2 petite, which sometimes it's a hard size to sell, um, believe it or not. It was $6.99. I picked it up because of the holiday it's coming up. I think it's good for New Year's, good for Christmas, Thanksgiving, Valentine's, all the holidays. So I really hope that you guys 
enjoy spending this day with me. Today was a fun day for me. Um, it was a day that I actually got to take you guys along with a thrift and ride haul. Um, it was good to go to these stores. So if you're someone who is struggling to sell on eBay or any platform, I want to let you know, do not give up. Um, just keep um, hanging in there. Um, buy stuff that you believe might sell. And sometimes, you know, I know there are a lot of sellers out there that will have you take classes and things like that, which is good, but nobody really knows exactly what sells on eBay. Uh, but what I will definitely tell you guys, if you come across a blouse that you like, buy it. You like it, there might be 50 other people that might like that top. You never know. Um, and another thing too is you need to set a price Perimeter. Like if you want to make, if you want to buy items, commit more than $10 to do it. With me, my limit is 10, but sometimes I don't really have a perimeter. Like today, I knew these pens were good, right? Because of the Navy and the American flag. So I know I'm going to sell that. Um, even though I bought it for a dollar, I know I'm not going to sell for 50 bucks, but I know I would make more than four or five or six dollars on them, including shipping. Sometimes you just have to go with your gut. Um, I really hope you guys enjoy this video, and I will see you next Sunday. Um, next Sunday, it's been a long time since so I've done this. It's going to be the biggest Dollar Tree haul, um, plus a bolo, and plus tips on how to sell. So if you guys like more of these videos, go ahead and hit that subscriber button, um, and I hope to see you guys next Sunday. Bye-bye. Have a fabulous week. And remember, always do what you love. Bye-bye, guys.